those of you who haven't been watching this mini series, this is the upside down palace designed by Family Craft Dad, and he sent it over to me to transform with tons upon tons of redstone contraptions. In episode one, we worked on the entrance systems, or all of the drama as you walk across the bridge. We've got flying machines to take us up here, and we've also got the entire library area, complete with hidden storage behind bookshelves, nice little rooms up here so that we can get away and read our books in complete and utter silence, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And then in episode two, we worked on all of this kind of thing, hot tubs, we've got this room up here, which is my bedroom with ridiculous alarm systems, editing suites, we've got armor equipping stations, we have cameras storage systems because I do love my camera equipment and all sorts of other bits and pieces as well as this room over here which is like a large scale potion brewing room. So far we're doing pretty well. Things are coming along fairly nicely but we do have a whole bunch of stuff left to do. I mean look at the size of this room. Seriously. <laughs> that thing's enormous. This thing's enormous. The downstairs is, well that's entirely manageable. I think I've come up with an idea for this room though. Military training room. So what we can do is we can flick a lever and that will pop up some things on either side here so that nothing can get out. And then we have like a certain amount of time to kill as many mobs as possible without dying. I think that's a cool idea. <laughs> I think that's an awesome idea. Uh, I'm going to start trying to work out the logistics. This could be quite tricky. So the first thing that I've got to do is create all of the entrance systems. Now these should actually be quite simple. So that redstone dust right there is connected up to our button and all we need to do is add in, I guess, some monostable circuits. And those will run out and connect up into these T flip flops right here, which are going to run across like this. And they will be powering some sticky pistons with fence posts on top of them. So that should just about do it. Now you can see we have had to do some redstone down at the bottom of this thing, but it's not too painfully visible especially when I block up this block right here and there's no light dropping down to it. So I don't think it's too bad, but if we hit this button... Yeah, maybe... <laughs> maybe I might need to lift this one up a level or... I guess drop these down by a level? So that it's actually a functioning fence post as opposed to just being something that stands up. Yeah, that might be an idea. Now, I actually think instead of having a T flip flop, we should have a pulse extender so that the fence posts pop up for like a certain length of time. But the thing is, is that is too short. So we're going to have to make use of some hopper mechanics here. Next up, I'm trying to work out how I'm actually going to get the mobs into the room. And I'm thinking probably through the walls. You can see I've placed in some dispensers right there. But the issue is, it's difficult as I don't really know how I'm going to get the redstone signal over into the dispensers without making really ugly redstone lines all the way across the underside of this room. Uh, I don't know, and also this is going to be a large number of mobs. <laughs> this is going to be so difficult. Right, here goes a first test of the dispenser systems. So we hit the button right there, and that's good. We are in peaceful mode right there. <laughs> So that hasn't really worked too well, but we saw the zombies flash up and also our fence posts have popped up as well And they will stay there for a certain length of time and then eventually drop back down and as you can see this is my redstone solution Not particularly glamorous. I must admit It could probably be prettier But I would say it does the job. I am tempted to replicate it on the other side as well Or maybe add in some other things that come down from the ceiling just to make it look a tiny bit better but other than that, yeah, fairly happy with it. Okay, let's link up the other side and also start work on some of the obstacles that I want to put in the center. So I haven't got any obstacles just yet, but we do have a system. So we've got zombies and we now need to pick up all of these items and I have used the, <laughs> the wrong thing. Oh my word. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is actually quite difficult. Man, that is a lot more zombies than I kind of bargained for, I guess. But thankfully, they all crowd together so I can wipe them out with my extreme skills. This is a heck of a game, this. Some serious combat training. Come on! I don't think the bow is very useful. <laughs> I think I might be on my way out. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I am a champion at this. I think I've beaten them. I think I've won it. I think I've won it. You guys say I'm bad at Minecraft. You guys say I'm bad at Minecraft. And I can pull off moves like that. Okay, right. Obstacles. That will make things a lot more fun. So I've laid out all of the pistons that are going to be pushing up all of the obstacles. And this should mean that I can't kind of backtrack and hit all of the zombies without getting stuck on things. And having to kind of jump around and move about. Which I think should make things a little bit more exciting. So now I just have to link them up to the pulse extender that's down underneath. So let's see where we currently stand on the obstacle front. Right, all of these have popped up. That's good, we've got that entire side bar this one block, which I wasn't actually able to do, so we're just going to cover that one up. Uh, we haven't extended this piston, we haven't extended that one, and these, this little bunch over here. Other than that though, this is looking like a pretty cool arena. I would say this thing is now done. We hit the button and that will activate all of the dispensers, all of the zombies, and also all of the obstacles and the fence posts so that we can't get out and it works like a proper arena. We have got ourselves a proper mob fighting arena. But anyway, I'm now going to get rid of these guys because I don't want to fight them again. I already took them on. I already proved myself that I can actually take on the zombies. And I would say this room is now finished. Yeah, nothing else I really want to do here. I'll just cover up all of the holes and make sure that there's no gaps left. And then we'll head on in to this room over here. And I'll be honest, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this one. I mean, we've got a sofa, maybe a TV screen, a cinema? I don't know, I have a think. I think you can probably guess what I'm going for here. We are going to create a mega, mega cinema. So we've got all of the seating in place. This is where we're going to be chilling out. Unfortunately, this little sofa down at the bottom here is going to be going. I know I originally referenced the sofa when I said that we were going to be making a cinema, but I feel like maybe a redstone palace like this deserves something a tiny bit grander. So we've got, well, we've got like a full scale. This is like a full scale viewing area. And then this entire area up here should hopefully turn into a big moving movie screen. Yeah, I'd say that's that's a pretty good that's a pretty good idea for this zone here. Ah, oh, the only thing is, is that that is definitely not centered. Right then, let's see if this system here actually functions. Now, as per usual, it's going to be a piston feed tape simply because I I don't think I've used a piston feed tape yet in this entire series, and this would not be a mumbo jumbo series without some form of piston feed tape. So we've got that going on there, and then this is going to attract that back which means that we're going to need blocks going across here, which is actually going to be a bit of an issue for that redstone circuit. Because no matter what I do, unless of course I run this over here. Okay, no problem. I was getting a little bit worried then because of course that piston feed tape would actually have cut off the circuits. Let's just quickly run this out the back here. And redstone there, good stuff. And then we can run that across the back. And hopefully this all works. Now I imagine the timing should be fine. But we're about to find out. So we're going to need a button and... Okay. Okay, that sounds promising. The next thing that we need to try is hooking it up to a hopper clock. Now this is what's going to be controlling the fast movement of the items. And this is where things could get a little bit interesting. So let's just quickly take the item out. Place in the comparator, and there we go. It can do it. It can do it. That is going to be our movie screen. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to pick up this item, and then I'm going to create the standard looking thing. I don't know. So, my idea for this thing is that it looks like day going through tonight. the worst thing I've ever seen. I actually have tears in my eyes at how terrible that is. I was trying my best not to laugh because that is awful. That doesn't look like day going through tonight in the slightest. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad that I'm going to keep it. That has to stay. It's the worst movie of all of all time. Can you imagine? 
Right. Okay, so now that we've created our our blockbuster that we've got going on there, I, I feel like we should maybe add in some extra things, maybe like popcorn machines and, and other bits and pieces that you would normally get in your own home cinema if you're rich enough to have an upside down house. And with that, we've got ourselves a popcorn machine. Now we can get other refreshments from those droppers over there, but if we flick this lever, there is the popcorn kind of popping in a way. I couldn't think of a better way to do it. I'm sure you guys are more creative than me and you will let me know down in the comment section. But as far as the redstone is concerned, thankfully there is a big zone underneath here where we can actually put a lot of the wiring. In fact, there is masses of space. We could definitely make use of that in this area over here. But that does mean that our popcorn machine doesn't intrude on any rooms and it looks really quite cool. I'm pretty happy with it and I would say that probably just about finishes the cinema area. I guess we should also have a light switch. There we go, done and dusted. Flick the lever, lights turn off, movie can begin. Flick the lever again, lights turn on, movie turns off, we all go home and we leave all of our rubbish in the aisles. It's perfect. That is a working system. I'm happy with the cinema section. I think we can now move on into this area here. However, I don't really know what I want to do with it because obviously we have we have the cinema area. I suppose this could be like the lounging area? Yeah, yeah. I I'll try my best to come up with some ideas. I've decided to create like a little partition that takes us through into this area over here. So the cinema area is there and then we can pop through into this zone and this can be like a, a private chill out zone. But I can't think of what to put in a private chill out zone. I've had a better idea. A disco zone. Part one of the disco zone is done. We have got ourselves a dance floor with flashing lights so we can dance up and down on here, but we don't have any form of music, which I think means that we should probably create something up at the end here. Now, I don't really know how to do this. I'm using iron blocks because I thought that would make like quite a good stage. So we'll have a stage up at the top here and maybe some form of creeper DJ type guy, and then we'll start adding in some note blocks and things that look good. So this should just about do it for our DJ set that we have. So we've got our creeper standing in the center. He's looking good. We've got ourselves some records and, and music boxes. We've got the dance floor. And if we flick this lever here. It's not bad. <laughs> we do have some tunes going on. Now I might need to. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. This isn't too bad. <laughs> I'll have to invite some friends over at some point. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with that room. This room's looking cool. There's nothing too crazy going on. Oh, I kind of am thinking in a similar vein to this, we should have some form of ceiling lighting as well. Yeah. Job done. Absolutely 100% finished. That has made things about a gazillion times better. <laughs> This is great. Okay, fantastic. That room's done. This area is done as well. We've got ourselves a disco room, a cinema room, so I guess it's the entertaining room. There's the arena as well. I think there's only one more room left to do. And that is the crazy kitchen. And the kitchen's quite small. We're getting there. We're almost done. Project number one is done. Obviously, we need to have some form of furnace smelter inside the kitchen. That's kind of what kitchens are for. And this one is the best of the best. Designed by Il Mango, this thing is absolutely fantastic and it can smelt 22 items simultaneously without running into any issues whatsoever. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. But we still have a few other things left to do. And I honestly can't think. We have so many redstone contraptions inside this build that it's difficult to keep coming up with the fresh ones to fill each room. So what we've got here is a food request system where we can actually get food from the top. Look, we can get bread, we've got pumpkin pie right there. If we press this one, we get golden apples and all sorts of different things and we can request food to be brought directly to our extremely tall table. <laughs> Maybe I might have to redesign that just a tiny bit because yeah, I don't think I don't think that's quite right. But as you can see behind me, I have also got a new cow farm. So this thing right here is where we're going to be getting all of our fresh beef. The cows will stand inside this section. We can hit the water and that will allow us to breed them. You guys have seen these before. And then when we breed them up, the baby ones will be pushed across into this area here. And when we hit this button, lava and then lava retracts. 
Now the only room that is left is this one right here. Now as I mentioned in the original episodes when I was first starting out, I personally don't think I'm going to do any redstone in here. I like this room far too much, there's nothing that I can think of that would really look particularly very good in this room. So this room is going to stay as it was. Yep, there's absolutely nothing. I mean, I was thinking about doing some firework stuff, but that I'd have to have dispensers down at the bottom and that would kind of ruin things. This room is just far too cool to start chucking redstone around in, which means that this area here and this entire build is now all finished. As far as I can tell, we have filled in the entire thing. So as I say, we did all of the entrance area. We've got flying machines to take us up through this area right here. That takes us through into the library section that is filled to the brim with all sorts of different things going on. We've got hot tubs. We've got my bedroom with all of the alarm clocks and the computer systems and everything like that. That's all working fine. And then we've got the potion brewing station. We've got our mob fighting arena, which is a very big redstone build. We've got the cinema, the disco room, and also the kitchen all done and filled up with redstone contraptions. I have to say, I'm pretty happy with this thing. I think it's turned out pretty good. We've managed to get a whole bunch of stuff done in just three episodes. And I would say this thing is pretty much all completed. So... Now, I am going to announce that this thing is available for download down in the description. If you want to check it out, and you want to play around with this yourself, then go ahead. You can find the link down in the description, and I will put all of that down there. Just click on the link and chuck the world save down into your Minecraft saves folder. And if you want to make some improvements to it, and if you want to add some more redstone contraptions, then go ahead. I'd love to see them. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen... That is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.